If you want a better, faster, more economical way to clean your underground petroleum storage tanks, then you need a tank cleaner from Gorman Row. The tank cleaner is used to pump accumulations of water, dirt, rust, scale, and other foreign materials from the tank while removing only a minimal amount of the petroleum product. The specially designed Gorman Rupp tank cleaner accomplishes this feat by using the Venturi principle created in the eductor valve of the unit. An efficient and inexpensive alternative to the degassing and manual scouring method of tank cleaning, the tank cleaner also allows the tank to be cleaned at regular intervals without removing it from service. There's no product agitation or risk of placing the contaminants back into suspension. That means you save both time and money. At the heart of the tank cleaner is a 2-inch Gorman Rupp O-Series self-priming centrifugal pump with quick-release couplers on both the suction and discharge hose. The pump is close coupled to a 1 horsepower, 115 volt fully explosion proof electric motor. Controlling the motor is an explosion proof start stop switch with 50 feet of 12 gauge type SO cable with a 125 volt 20 amp grounded plug. For safety purposes, a 10 foot long grounding strap with an alligator clip is also included. Connected to the discharge side of the pump is the eductor valve, which can be placed in one of three positions. Vacuum mode for cleaning, back flush mode for unplugging the hose nozzle or suction line, and shut off mode for transferring extracted contaminants at the rate of approximately 80 gallons a minute. Running from the top of the eductor valve to the specially designed reel assembly is eight feet of three-quarter inch hydrocarbon resistant transfer hose with a quick release coupler. Contained in the innovative reel assembly is 42 feet of 5 8 diameter hydrocarbon resistant nitroelastomer hose. Inside the hose is a special internal spring steel strip for lateral stiffness and longitudinal flexibility. At the end of this hose is an exclusive roller guard and nozzle assembly specifically designed to allow the hose to traverse the bottom of the buried tank without lifting or losing contact with the settled contaminant. Included with the tank cleaner is a uniquely designed stainless steel telescoping standpipe that extends to direct the hose from the hose reel down to the bottom of the tank. At the bottom of the standpipe, nylon rollers direct the hose nozzle out and across the tank bottom. The tank cleaner unit is provided with 15 feet of suction and discharge hose. An appropriate storage container is required to serve as a holding tank for extracted contaminants. Mounted on wheels, the tank cleaner is easily positioned next to the fill port of the underground tank. At this point, it is extremely important to determine the longitudinal axis of the tank. The standpipe can then be carefully lowered into the fill port with the bottom opening facing the opposite end of the tank. The fill port may be located at the center of your tank, and in this case, two passes, one in each direction from the center fill port to the end of the tank, will be required. Some large tanks may have two fill ports. Cleaning from both ends of the tank will ensure the removal of contaminants. Remove the reel assembly from the base of the tank cleaner and snap it into place atop the standpipe. The hose from the reel is then placed inside the standpipe and fed downward until the operator can feel the nozzle come in contact with the nylon rollers at the bottom of the standpipe. The operator then fills a storage container with approximately 10 to 15 gallons of water, ensuring the non-coupled ends of the hose will be completely submerged and will not withdraw under operating pressure. Next, removing the quick connect fill cap from the discharge plumbing, the pump is filled with water.
The suction and discharge hoses are attached to the pump and the grounding strap of the tank cleaner is secured, in this instance, to the fill port at the top of the tank. Making sure the explosion-proof start-stop switch is in the off position, the operator then plugs the tank cleaner into the nearest 20-amp receptacle. With the eductor valve placed in the vacuum position, switch the pump motor on and the pump begins the priming process. When the pump has become fully primed, vacuum, created by the eductor, slowly begins to draw liquid from the bottom of the tank and the contaminated product begins to appear in the sight glass. The contaminants travel from the tank, through the eductor, and into the storage container. Once an even rate of flow has been established, the operator then begins to slowly feed the hose from the reel down and out the standpipe opening at the bottom of the tank. As the hose begins to travel the tank bottom, contaminants such as water, dirt, and scale will appear in the sight glass as either very light or dark clusters with clean product appearing clear. Since the maximum flow rate through the eductor is only 3.8 gallons per minute, it may be difficult at first to detect product flow. However, with some experience, the operator will soon be able to detect flow as well as differentiate between petroleum and unwanted contaminants. Continuing to feed the hose slowly across the tank bottom, the operator stops for pockets of contaminants and begins to make short back and forth passes until the sight glass again appears clear. After feeling the hose nozzle come in contact with the opposite wall of the tank, the operator begins to rewind the hose, making one more cleaning pass along the tank bottom. If large particles or contaminants should happen to clog the hose or hose nozzle, the operator briefly moves the eductor valve to the back flush mode, and a stream of high pressure liquid is injected back through the system, breaking up the particle or forcing it out of the line. To continue cleaning, return the eductor valve to the vacuum position. Once the operator is satisfied with the clarity of the product in the sight glass, he then turns the eductor valve to the shutoff position, switches off the pump motor, and begins to retract the hose onto the reel assembly. Notice the storage container is not quite full, showing how the tank cleaner only removes unwanted contaminants from the bottom of the tank and not excess amounts of the product. Using the pump's capability, you will be able to strip fluid from the reel and transfer hoses. By lifting the suction line from the storage container while leaving the pump on, the lines will be purged. With the eductor valve remaining in the shutoff position, the tank cleaner can also be used to transfer the contents of one container into another, or into a transport vehicle for disposal in accordance with local, state, and federal regulations. The Gorman Rupp tank cleaner is versatile and can be used in unconventional setups when the need arises. If the fill port is undersized or in an inconvenient location, the tank cleaner still does the job. Depending on the size and degree of cleanliness of the tank, the amount of actual product removed by the tank cleaner will vary. However, we believe it's the most economical and efficient device on the market today for maintaining clean, underground petroleum storage tanks, as well as residential heating oil tanks, gasoline and diesel service stations and plazas, manufacturing facilities, or many other types of storage vessels. So, if you are looking for a better, faster, and more economical way to keep your petroleum products clean, Try a tank cleaner from a company that has been an innovative leader in the petroleum pumping business since 1952. Gorman Ruff.